Good work, clever cogs. Let me guide you into the dark. What did I just do? What up? It's your boy Snaisica, and today we are bringing you guys part one of our Bio Mutant playthrough. Now we started this playthrough yesterday on stream. If you guys would like to catch this live, be sure to check out our Twitch. The link will be in the bio. Other than that, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the page, leave a comment. And I said we get right into it. Let's get it, baby! So you guys may have noticed the raccoon pun in the title. The main character in this game is a raccoon and we get to personalize. We get to customize that raccoon when it comes to it. We're going to have a lot of fun with it, y'all. I'm ecstatic for this game. I'm really excited. Biomutant has been one I've been looking forward to for a few weeks now. And I'm ready to get it going. Let's go. So we got Primal. That's okay. It's about average. The, the Dum Don. Okay, so he, he, he's got some, some buck teeth there. He compensates the lack of mental prowess with a physical strength. Okay, so he's more he's more brute. All right, next up, we have the Rex, a ant, anthro, anthropomorphic, an, anthropomorphic breed. It's very good with physical and mental challenges. He looks good. He's, he's definitely a raccoon. Next up, we have the Hyla. Ooh, G mutation, making them extremely tough and resilient. I like this one. I'm liking the Hyla. We have the FIP. It's highly evolved mind. It's genius is directly interlinked to the power of Kai, which amplifies the psionic output. But why is his head so small? Look at it. Look at his head compared to the rest of his body. It looks like Big Ed. All right, next up, we got the Murgle. Its evolutionary lineage has gone in a direction where form and appearance has dominated over function. I think I go with the Hyla. I like the Hyla. Ah, uh, actually, I'm going to go with uh, Dum Don. Okay, so we're going to go with the Dum Don because, you know, why not? Okay, so define your character's starting attributes. Define your genetic structure. Let's let's move the left stick towards any of these. Just watch. Bro, look at this. It, like, adapts his body with what we give him. So if, if he's agile, he's tall and lanky. If he's if he's intellect, he's got a very big head because he's got a very big brain. Charisma, he's got a very small head. Oh my goodness, bro. I, I, I definitely want a strong and agile creature. Okay, I think I think this is good. Strong and agile, which means charisma is gonna be a little low. Let's Choose get it. A genetic resilience. Let's make it. I don't know. I, I think we just leave it in the middle for this one. I, I really don't know what this game holds for us. I think we just make it in the middle. Choose this. your first style. This reminds me of Avatar a little bit, this one. Ooh, this one's like God of War. I think we go with this one. I like this. Okay, let's go with God of War. I like it. Pick your main color. I like purple. Doesn't really go well with his, uh, his scarf, though. I think a red is a better, a better choice. Like an orange, red. Go with the scarf. Choose your detail color. Secondary color. I, I do want purple. Oh, that does not look good at all. That does not look good at all. It kind of hurts my eyes, actually. Like a beige almost, like an orange. We're going to go with this. I like this fit. I like Bigger this fit. Class. Oh, dead so these are, these are the different um, classes. So we have Deadeye, which is, looks like pistol. Tricky, skillful rogue who's chosen a life outside law. Commando. Commando is an operative of an elite special operations force. 
they work in smaller teams Psy freak the Psy freak has electricity i don't like that i don't like that i don't like electricity saboteur saboteur looks like he's hand-to-hand -hand combat skilled explorer trained to operate covertly in both suburbs and wilderness sentinel. and sentinel so it looks like he has a firecracker i think commando. we go either commando or dead eye roses commando chosen we look like a good character we're very agile and strong character with different attributes and an AK-47 on the back, so let's go. We're already at the crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. Okay, so this is literally the fork in the road. This is literally the fork in the road. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but Ooh. a choice, a reflection of your key the primal energy that flows through everything. Okay, so this is the big decision of the game, y'all. Do I want to go for the good side or do I want to go for the bad side? So it's either dark red for strength and power or light blue for freedom and loyalty. I think I go dark red. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the dark side of you. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of the balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. After seeing this thing, I don't know if the dark is for me. After seeing this thing, I don't know if the dark is for me. I, you know what? Let's go with it. I'm one with darkness. Can't Let's go. Can't believe you'd choose that thing over me. But I'll be here waiting for you when you have a change of heart. Okay, that's 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 completely fine. These are the angels on the shoulder in the Nickelodeon shows. This is literally it. Or the not the Disney, not the Nickelodeon, the Disney Channel shows. That These are the uh, the angels on the shoulder. I'm right here. Let me remind you, we're two halves of the same, with the difference being I'm the better half. Better half? My way is both better and brighter. Light makes it easier to see the best end. The best end is the one you decide yourself, and it seems we're headed in the right direction. Okay, I gotta go left here. Guess left can be right sometimes. Well, this is the dark path, right? Stories of death from the bodies left behind. Oh, rest in peace, A donkey. reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Rest in peace, donkey. Yo, in the morning, I'll make a waffles. Meat eaters, meat. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? No, I don't. Or did you choose to forget? That's the one. You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. The predator, that sounds very promising. I want that. No. Foo roll. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is our first battle. So full roll is is dodge. Okay, so we got that down. I think shoot is I don't know, feathers flight. What, what is this? Oh, that's shoot. Okay, monkey wheel. What did that do? Oh, oh okay. I I we're we're hopping into it. We're we're just hopping into it. Panther sweep. Oh my. Dodge, dodge. Get out of there. Get out of dodge. Parry. Oh, it's like counterattack, right? Let me try this. Okay, that's, yep, counterattacked. Beautiful. Okay, Viper Bite. Dodge, melee. Okay, let me try this. Viper Bite? Was that it? What, what what does that do? What does Viper Bite do? Rabbit's Fury. I'm learning a lot of combinations right now. Okay, this is the this is the cutscene. This is the cutscene right here. The intro cutscene. Better make a run for it. This is not the time nor it. place to end this story. Yep, yeah, this is the this is the bomb with the bat. The bats are gonna be inside now. I think G Fuel. It was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Great, escape the bunker. Okay, it's it's beeping. It's definitely beeping. The predator isn't the only threat. 
the wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began and the tree of life started to die. Okay, let's evolution gone wrong. Move towards an enemy to attack them with melee attacks. Aim the camera towards an enemy to target them with ranged. Reload R1. Okay, so I, I can't use all my Kai. Let me let me reload. So my character specializes in ranged attacks. So I'm just, I'm gonna try to keep it that way. How do I run? Okay, that's how you run. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Why? Oh, the wrong button for shoot. Oh, I got a fully auto. How do I get ammunition? That's going to leave a mark. Okay, let's do that's the, the snake's bite, I think it's called. Bites the viper the bite. There we go. They're not even attacking. They're not even attacking. All right, can I loot these guys? Okay, I can't loot them. All right, let's take this one-on-one -on -one combat. Blob. Let's go. That gun is dirt. It is kind of weak. It is quite weak, but hopefully we can we can level it up throughout the game. The sludge. oil sludge is Over everywhere. Here. To most, it only means death, but some have oh adapted my. to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Remember to parry. Oh, that, that is facts. Shot through. I tried to parry, didn't work. Okay, so the sludge soaker is level two, and we're level one, so hopefully we level up after this. Wow, that gun actually didn't work to him. Holy moly. Defeat the rock. Oh, another boss. Just ran. Oh my. I wonder why they call him Rocket Boom. Save our ammo. Try to complete his health with that. Sick. Okay. What's the best way to beat this guy? Okay, hand-to-hand -hand combat is not our not our specialty. It's very much not our specialty. This gun isn't bad from, from distance. I think it's just those enemies before had a higher tolerance to it. Interact. Tough tickly. Health regen 225. We're getting a lot of health regens right now. As well as I'm assuming, I'm assuming experience tokens. Where the tunnel? What's in here? Oxinal tunnel tour. I still don't know what my main mission is. Okay. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with melee attacks. Okay. It's viable. Attack is she oh I broke a shield. Okay, huge. It's a ring. It's not brightness. I always thought it was brightness. We got level two. Uh defeating enemies give you XP. Through the menu, press options. Sick. Let's see what we can upgrade now. Level up character. Let's go. Yep. When you level up, you can increase an attribute of your choice by 10. Pick which attribute you want to increase from the list. So we need to work on more. I think our intellect. Is quite low. I think we should work on our intellect out of everything. So let me let me upgrade that. Let's continue on in our ventures to try to find out what the hell we gotta do. Look, an the emergency bar. box from the once was a rare sight. Sick. Okay. Old world claw bar. Let's go. Take all. Thank you. Where to? That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Okay, how, how would I use the claw bar? 
Just swing. I'll interact. Alright. Bombs away. Whoa. Bombs away. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Hand up, hand up, further you go. Now let's go. Let's get it. All right, where to in here? Get out of Bunker 101. Pog, there it goes. What is this? Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. It's like a spaceship. Okay, start the ray later. All right, let's start it up. You found a puzzle. Oh my goodness, puzzle. Switch which node is selected to use. Higher number of rotations you have left, the higher intellect, the more moves you have. Oh my, what the hell? Okay, so. That was the whole puzzle? That was the whole puzzle. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago. But it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. So how does this Once in the surf, the radiation in relationship interfered to the tree of with life. the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. All right, so that was the whole backstory and how we became exposed to all this radiation of sorts. What we do that knowledge, I don't know. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. <laughs> it's coming from behind that door. Oh, uh, great, it's another boss. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Does that mean another puzzle? Oh no. Oh, it's it is going another to take puzzle. A bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Okay, move this this way, right? Just a few moves left. Make them count. Three. Okay. I need to get my intellect up, because if not, I would have been hey. screwed right there. countering an enemy attack will stun them a stunned enemy has stars circling above their head and hitting the enemy again you can launch it up in the air by pressing l1 it's an airstrike perfectly countering the an enemy one attack is oh great you better help him out oh i thought i was fighting that guy fight the scavengers oh i'm not loaded that's the last good stuff one. let's go let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives a new friend an old friend Talk to out of date. Is this is that who this is? I don't understand. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. Is it my dad? He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. Everything changed. There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall. 
and he's happy to see it's true. Yatu Yao Mawa. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar to remember the past. The scar. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. Your Muma? There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. I wish this guy spoke he says English. It has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back, but he's grateful you have. Appreciate it, out of date. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. What's at stake or unity? Let's go, what's at stake? The impending threat of the world eaters bringing down the tree of life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. I think it's the tree that we have to tear down because we chose the bad path. All right, talk to best before. Oh, this is a flashback. Right? Is the flashback? Yeah, I don't have my weapons. Yo, it's Elvis! Yo! He asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Mooma knows you are here. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. Yo, it's Raccoon Elvis. He understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. Potato people? The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. I don't believe in magic. No, no. Potato people is better. Yeah, potato people is better. <laughs> You might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding. So I'm looking for the potatoes. I have to ruffle the glitter, the glitter grass. How do you ruffle? <laughs> oh. You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. <laughs> the Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Will it be strong enough? <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the I still don't know why Elvis is trying to grow a tree. Depends on it. <laughs> you need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. This is confusing as hell right now. I wish he just spoke English. You need English. a net to catch the Nono. And he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. Okay, now I can use his net. That's good. Thank you. Hoop net received. Well, oh, I feel like I rushed it a little bit. Okay, what do I do with you this now? You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. Good to know. 
He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai. They're hiding in the glitter grass that mostly grows deep inside damp caves, where they draw mineral from the natural rock. So I have to go inside the caves. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Merge the no no with the tree. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is the tree of life, I think. Right? From this day on, He'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. <laughs> One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. <laughs> bro, just this, this Elvis guy is, is cracking you me up, bro. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted. And unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. <laughs> he says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. Okay, so this whole, this whole ordeal was just telling me how to grow the tree of life, I think. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. Yeah, I think we're flashing forward. Oh, he lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. Okay, so this is all setting up the main story. Okay, I respect it. Yeah. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun, and it wasn't long after that that the World Eaters arrived. The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eaters' DNA into overdrive. Who are the World Eaters? I guess we're about to find out. Oh, so this is the map. His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Pup at the end of the West Route. Seems like a big Wiz map. is still repairing his octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Got Merc Puff. Noko has Oof tamed puff. the Majut and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Finally, Gorky is puff. almost done with the Goo Glide. A machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. I want to check out the Porky Puff. Out of date says his friends are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. All right, heard out of date. Sounds good. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. All right, let's see Porky Puff. I want to see how to get to Porky Puff. He claims names have power, so he gave them these names to weaken them. For him, the Porky Puff is particularly personal. It was that carnivorous beast that took his leg. The Porky Puff is particularly personal. That's a tongue Regardless, twister. you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the World Eaters. Sounds good. Let's go. I'm ready. Give me the net. Give me the net. Thank you. We have the rod net now. Let's go. Main quest completed. Another world. Okay, so now we have to go pry open this door. Let's go.
We're gaining XP just by climbing? Sounds good. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. I want to go to the puffy one. The puffy, puffy pig or whatever his name is. Hey, buy a mutant. Let's go. A signpost maps it out for the Carter graphically challenged. I still don't know what all my attributes stand for. Oh, hold up now. Hold up now. What is that? It's a beaver looking thing. That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. Hey, that's Porky. You need a hat trick to bring that down. It's Porky. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. What, what is That's that? That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look, bro. a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Hey, what's good, bro? Are you good? Man just had his whole village destroyed. I'm a third party going to check on him. What's good, bro? Why do none of them speak English, bro? He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. Are you good, bro? He is there anything you can give me? Is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Good work, clever cogs. Let me guide you into the dark. What did I just do? I just knocked him out. Why did I knock him out? Bro, why did I just knock him out? I just uppercut him. Why did I just do that? I've always liked the darkness. Seriously? I always thought better of you than that. Well, I'm, I'm playing the darkness wrong. route. There's always more dark than light. There's still time to turn back. They're already heading down my road. <laughs> <laughs> Shovel him. Shovel him. PSI point unlocked. There we go. Okay, what can I use my PSI points for? Can, can I learn more more attacks with that, bro? There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Hey, what's up, out of date? Out of date knows you'll make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe. And there's two nearby. Okay, so I have to go to a tribe. Heard. The Jagni tribe is likely to be your primary choice as they seek to become omnipresent and most importantly, feared. I like his fit. Regardless of who you choose, I like his it fit. Look at him. Look at him. The conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. Okay, so we, we unlock something. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Okay, so Siding we have the Myriad the Forge Myriad's on the right. Movement for wholeness in a fragmented hey, what's good tomorrow? Wait, seem like the logic did you change your name tomorrow? Is it the right did you change your name? One thing's certain. You don't have a four anymore. Destiny arrives all the same. The on. Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. Nah. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. So I gotta choose which fortress I want to go with. That seems, that seems all right. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. And I'm that, I'm the shifter. I'm the shifter. He believes the tribe Sifus, Jagni especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. He believes you share Jagni's view on the world. Regardless, Jagni would welcome someone that had helped them against the Myriad tribe. He'll be waiting for you beneath the Tree of Life if you lose track of what you need to do. 
Okay, sounds good. Can I go? Can I go, Mr. Old One? You'll meet again once you've played your part in the Tribe War and the situation with the World Eaters. Alright, end of the Tribe War. Okay, so I have a journal. Talk to the Jagni or Myriad Saifu. Sifu. Okay, that's fine. I think we go to Jagni. Let's go Jagni. Set a waypoint here. There we go. Okay. It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> I get it. That's funny. That's a very funny one. They sure you are. destroyed this area. Muddied up what used to be muck. As if it wasn't bad enough before the tribe war began. Okay, so this is like trenches. Or who's fighting? So now let's talk to this tribe. This is the Jagni tribe. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. The Sifu is here, right? Yes. Says just because you've made time to meet the Sifu doesn't mean he has time for you. But you're welcome to give it a try. Sounds good. Enter the gates. Go in. Let's go. Let's see what this guy has to offer me. I don't know how I'm going to interact with these guys, like what I can offer them, but might as well give it a shot. Bro, even just looking at them, even just looking at them is comical. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. The Sifu is determined to let the World Eaters destroy the Tree of Life as it's part of their strategy to cleanse the world and start anew. Okay, so they want to tear down the Tree of Life. He welcomes you to the Jagni Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. The news of a cold-blooded ronin crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 preceded you. He's referring to your rampage through Bunker 101. It seems you don't mind a bit of blood on your hands. That's something you have in common. He understands that sometimes we need to lose ourselves to find ourselves. But he's glad you chose to come here. That's good. Thank There's you. Thank you, Sifu. about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense your kind hearted. Sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Mooma for ages. Whoa, what about even my though Mooma? she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Are you talking about my Mooma? Hold up now. So what's this going on with my uh my Mooma? You think of my Mooma? Your Mooma invented Wang Fu. Wang Originally, Fu? it was based on unarmed combat and the six weapons. The boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and the chain. The nanchuk? The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. The Nanchuk? Unrest is sweeping the land and there are rivals in all directions. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Says fear and hatred is the only path to domination, but you already know that. So embracing that side of you and helping them vanquish the tribes and letting the world eaters destroy the tree of life should be an easy decision. Do I want to ally with them? Their end goal is to destroy the tree of life. You know what? I'm about it. Let's go. I'm joining. I'm gonna destroy it. Yeah. He expected you. I'm for join. violence. Let's go. You understand that the universe runs on the principle that the one who dominates others runs the show. Go. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can vanquish the other tribes. The one he wants to deal with first is the Myriad tribe. Vanquish? It's a good idea. The Jagni's destiny is to do what others are too afraid to do. 
to vanquish past and future disillusions of unity and take control of our destiny. Uniting the tribes and saving the Tree of Life won't change anything. That's top five points. So, yeah, we're working our way. That's not, that's not wrong. I like that. Their kin must put an end to the war before war puts an end to them. It'll cost bruises and broken bone, but they refuse to be the victim here. All right, we need to end this quickly, or what if they're too strong? Let's end this quickly. They have no intention of letting this drag out, or they'll run the risk of teaching the enemy their art of war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. How do you take control of them? Through violence, I'm assuming? He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. The art of Wung Fu. I still can't get over that. You both share dark thoughts, so they want to wage a war. A war where all that's left behind is casualties. Wow, you're a bot? Yes, I am a bot, Astro. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Sounds good. We can Once do that. Once you've conquered the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu for control of their territory, tribe weapon, and kin. The tribe weapon? What weapon is it? Here back. Sounds good. No worries, bro. We'll see you soon, okay? Zoom see you soon, Astro. Your Moomer taught each disciple a weapon. She never intended it for hunting nor war, but lately the art of defense has been shadowed by relentless attack. Yep. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Yep. Jagni doesn't want a new unity between the tribes. Their goal is to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. Yep. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, you'll pass your old village on your way to the first rival outpost, but we've got no time to be sentimental. War doesn't wait. It's always the little things you remember, and with you, it's pretty much the only thing he recalls that you were little. Exit this fort. Now we have an alliance, which is good. 